Okay, I just released a new collection of graphics and logos called the Worldwide Logos Collection. And I just wanna open these up, a couple of them, and show you how versatile these are. So all the templates I offer are layered uh, to some degree, and which means you can really kind of mix and match things. You can move things around. You can recolor everything. You can change the text. So for instance, if you didn't want to have the uh, Atlas guy, the guy holding up the world, um, you could just turn that off. So you can turn these layers off. You can get rid of extra text. You know, you can even add your own text. So, you know, you can say like collection something like that, whatever your store or your customer wants it to say. It's really easy to change things. Um, you can change the letter spacing just to, to kind of get like a really cool look. Now, so like I said, these things are really layered. So let's say you didn't want this banner here. So this banner consists of the text, banner fill and then the banner itself um, so if you just wanted the globe there you know you can also change the fonts you know just to get a different look you could change say the color of the globe here all kinds of stuff um, you can even so here's another template I've got an airplane kind of going around the world um, and the other thing is I don't, I don't really do any masking in these, uh, templates, which kind of allows you to really change things. So for instance, let me just turn off all the layers except for the plane and then the trail. Um, you'll see that it gets cut off right here, but on the bottom, there's actually um, an orbit line that goes all the way around. So that's there if you wanted to, you know, you could just put this around some type if you wanted to. So let's see here. And these text paths, you know, I'm just going to type something straight across here. Um, but these text paths, you can also copy from template to template. So if there's like you know, an arched text that you like from one template, you can change it to another. You know, so you can do this kind of thing, change the color of that. So you can see how it goes over the text on this side and the orbit line goes behind the text over here. So lots of really good options with these. You know, the other thing we could do, let's take this airplane and just that partial um, orbit line and copy it. We'll go back into this other template and we can paste it in there. And let's actually make a new layer on top, make it a little easier. So you go in there and position this around so the, this method essentially will work in, I'm in Illustrator right now, but this will work in Photoshop, uh, it'll work in Affinity and Corel, um, and see how the, you can't really see the airplane, so what we'll do here is maybe we'll just make the continents tonal. Kind of like that. You could even make the um, longitude and latitude lines tonal as well so that airplane does show up a lot better um, also that shading so lots of cool stuff you can do with these um, most of them are layered in this fashion where it's meant so you can reuse and move things around so uh, yeah anyway this is a brand new collection just released um, last night 
Um, so go have a look on thevectorlab.com. Thank you.